Ah, glory to the Empire, or glory to the Emerald Isle, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the island campaign, where we are building up our ships again because most of them died to nutrition last time. Quite frustrating process too. So we're just building up our ships right now, and something someone pointed out to me that I've been keeping my national modifier on for pretty much a long time, and I would think by now my population is mostly, yeah, it's 50... It's 42 percent where I want it to be, but it's not quite what it's not quite the end. I want to make sure that every election there's almost a hundred percent chance that they'll all become reactionary. So until that until this is completely like turned around, like at least like 97 percent, so I don't have to worry about anything. I don't think I'm going to be, you know, dropping this at all. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it on this thing, but. As far as I know, I think we are the most reactionary party in the world. Yeah. I mean, only America beats us in terms of reactionaries and stuff. Okay, we got our next boat finished. We got both of them finished. That means we can finally go and take over Egypt's land. Which I've been wanting to do for a little bit. And most of Egypt should be under attack from the Ottomans. Because the Ottomans are definitely bigger than us. Okay. Go in. And let's go kick their butts. Okay, and let's do a little bit of less attack since I don't really need as much administration control because it's not really necessary. Because we already have a hundred percent, so there's really no need to be like, yeah, I want keep keep them keep at a hundred percent, keep at a hundred percent. There's no real need for it. So I'm gonna move all my men in there, move to the straight. Yeah, we're gonna get you back, Egypt. I think all I'm gonna have to do is just. Okay, so I got negative two percent war score. If I just con if I think if I just conquer the capital, or just conquer this region right here, Baden goes bankrupt. Oh no, cultivist. All these parties, national elections. If I just conquer the capital, I think that'll be enough. I don't think I have to actually go down all the way down there, which would be good. And yeah, so let me just do this. Uh, we will not extend freedom. <laughs> we are not one of those kind of people. Or one of those kind of countries. Or at least that's why I'm trying. I'll curve once in a later game. I'll start curving it to the point being more open with people. But for right now, we just we need to be as uh, mean to minority, minorities as possible. For military. Okay. So I want to make sure that this just keeps going up. Everyone keeps loving the Unionist Party. Even though it's funny that the Unionist... <laughs> It's very ironic that the party that is most that's associated with just being a part of Great Britain is actually the party that we need in power right now. After we just freed ourselves. So let's see, go to Cairo. The last place we need. And we should be getting some war yeah, we get some war score because we just taking over this. Once we own the capital, it usually gives us a ton of war score. And just conquering this region. You know, I might just take over the Suez right now. It might just be uh a better ploy. That way I can get a good chunk of Egypt out of the way. Okay, let me move my soldiers over here to Zibib. And you guys... Hmm. Alright, so you guys want peace? Well then, let me add one more region and then we're done. Yes. No. Yes. No. Maybe so. Um... Gonna be five years until I can declare war again. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Let's see, Syria, especially with a very aggressive, um, a very aggressive Ottoman Empire. I want to make sure I have this. So five, five infamy won't be that bad. Ooh, twelve infamy. So let's see, any nations I can release? Not yet. I'll be having that soon. But for right now, we're just gonna need to take over this region. I'll have this region pretty much locked down in a second. Uh, just, oh no. The morality issues. Yeah, this army is much better than my previous one. Probably because it's actually built for army, for conquest. Alright, so we have our unionists have been curved into power. Yes, yeah, the unionist party 100%. That's good. Uh, Cardinus rallies. Let them hold. No. Let the boys kill them. I mean, right now I have 2.0 infamy, so I don't really have to take too much care in terms of. I uh, of um, infamy and stuff like that. So 
Let's see. Just have to wait. Just have to wait. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So the blood roses. Uh, let us overturn our exhaustion. Or uh, let's get that. Cause that sounds like it'd be really useful right about now. We are most of the top of Egypt. That's really awesome. And the Ottomans basically finished up the war. And now they're looking really, really oblong. With their conquest of Persia, they look very, very oblong. And Persia just looks like it's getting destroyed by everyone. Man, I feel so bad for them in this game. Okay, so we have this part. We're going to move over here. It seems like they're moving all the soldiers back to try to defend themselves. Uh, it's kind of cute. Uh... Hopefully we'll get some more school from just like battling the big gigantic armies. Hopefully they still have some big gigantic armies. Because this would be really lame if I had to just fight against little tiny armies. It would be. And we got state capitalism about to become apparent in about a couple weeks. And that's the reason why I haven't been fabricating a new war goal. It's because I probably would have fabricated a new war goal in a couple minutes. But state capitalism is about to come up and that's going to help us out a lot. And right now we're doing pretty good, so I'm going to have you guys just dock up here in Alexandria. And then we're going to go after these guys who finally built a decent sized army so I can go after them. And we'll almost conquest this entire, like, Cy Cyan region. Let me just get that right here. Okay, let's see. Okay. And I have this. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Supply limit. Well, I need to get my supply limit of my navy up, otherwise this is going to kill me in the future. So let's do that. Move my soldiers up to go kill up these guys. I don't know why they hadn't moved, because that was really stupid of them. I had a bigger army, and I had, I had better equipment. That was stupid. They had no tactical advantage there at all. I mean, wow. Okay, so we almost have this place underneath our control. I think here soon they're going to give up. Yeah, they only have one soldier left. One soldier and then they're done. So that means they only have... Eh, not that much to do. Not that much to deal with. Let me go right here. Let me go to Gaza to make sure they don't make that one soldier. Yeah, I have completely... I have what I need underneath my control. Get this this, get Gaza, and we'll just start moving down. Now we're just going to start moving down the Nile, everyone. We're moving down the Nile. Even though the Nile flows upwards, we're going to move down the Nile. Okay, and we just got a new national focus. So what should our national focus be? In our providence over here, I'm going to encourage more of our people to start moving down here. So I'm going to encourage immigrants because I want people to start moving down here. Because I want to try to make this into a colony of some sorts. Because there isn't, there isn't too many people in that region. Like if I know of. Like Indian Malaysia. Like only 151k. We could definitely in over time displace that population. So. Hmm. Yes. Displace the population. That sounds very, very evil and monotonous. But too bad. Okay, so let's get back to Egypt. Ah, dang. We have to wait for our elections to finish. So we're doing so awesome right now. Okay, back to our thing. Over here. Go down here. Start. Just keep going down the Nile. Yeah. They should give up at some point. They honestly can't stop my power. And I'm just going to keep moving down here so that they can't make any troops. Which is going to sting for them. Oh, uh, my goodness. Okay, we got 11k. That means I can finally build... In our Lenin's Piedmont colony, I can finally build a, uh... Wait, I still can't build a steam... Oh, it costs... Whoa, that's a lot of money. Okay, I'm gonna have to start thinking about it then. That's a lot of money. What I do have to build, though, is a... We actually don't have any... Yeah, we're starting to feel the hurt of the, uh... Coal process. We have, like, no coal in our provinces. Uh, you know, then, what I'm gonna do is then increase our railroad c capacity, because... We need our railroads built. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Now we got our railroads built. Yay! Main country now having railroads. That's awesome. Okay, you guys ready to admit defeat? Two provinces? Yep, proceed. There we go. Ah. 
Now for future reference, we will own the Suez Canal, and we don't have to worry about that kind of thing anymore, and we got two places. Yeah, our economy should be starting to bounce back in a couple seconds. Doesn't seem like it's bouncing back as quickly as I thought it would be. Uh, just gonna slightly tear off. Under 10% is what I'm trying to do. Uh, we don't have to put our military at maximum spending anymore. 69 is about good. Okay, there we go, and wow, we're making a lot of money now, which is good, because now we got a good little entry point into Ethiopia if we want to, and now we got a good entry point to, to controlling more land so that we can instantly get to our other colonies over here. So, hmm, I think that's it, people. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, this was a fun episode. We got a couple more things done, and it seems like Germany is definitely becoming a big baddie again in the in the uh, central central European theater. So, want well, to thank you guys for watching. This was fun. This was a fun episode. And oh my goodness, what have you done, in America? That does not look right. That does not look right at all. In fact, this is even cored by the by Canada. Why did you do that? Hey, and that looks really ugly. That looks that looks really really ugly. Like all that looks just really really ugly. I I I don't know that. Wow. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.